Hello and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up YouTube live events. So if you want to notify your subscribers that you're going to be going live, streaming an event or streaming a game, and let that event come up through your subscribers notification feeds, I'm going to show you how to set up a YouTube live event in this tutorial. So first thing you wanna do is navigate on over to your video manager from your channel page to where all of your videos are located. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see your creator studio underneath live streaming. Click the down arrow to the right of the live streaming option here on the left. You're going to see something below stream now that says events. Click on the events tab on the left hand side. As you can see here, I have a test one that I did a long time ago streaming the Apple iPhone 6S event live where I was chatting with my viewers and things like that. Now, if you're going to want to create a new event, what you're going to want to do is go on up to where you see the addition symbol that says new live event. So go ahead and click on the new live event button. Now this page here is going to look very similar to when you upload a video. Now there's a few differences and I'm going to show you what you're going to want to do there. So obviously with the title, you're going to want to type in whatever the live event is going to be called. So go ahead and type in the title of the live event here. And then underneath that, you're going to see the time that the live stream is going to start. So you can select say tomorrow, I'm going to select Friday, August 12th at 10 a.m. So you can go here and select whatever time that you want to do. And then also, if you want to, you can add an end time by clicking that button there. And that will actually tell your viewers how long that specific stream is going to last. Under the description, basically, this is going to be the description underneath the live stream whenever you go live. So type in whatever you want in the description. And then underneath keywords here, obviously, type in relevant keywords that are related to the live stream that you're going to be presenting to your viewers when you go live that specific time. Now, there's two different types of live streaming. The custom is going to be like if you're using OBS and things like that. I have tutorials on how to stream using OBS on YouTube. If you want to know those, they'll be linked in this video as well in the description below. And then probably the simplest way to stream on YouTube is basically choosing the quick type right here that says it'll allow you to use the Google Hangouts on air. Basically, you're using Google's built-in platform, Google Hangouts. And from what I've gathered and tested, the ones that you're utilizing with OBS, the custom version is going to allow allow you more I guess you would say more options to edit what you're wanting to do on your live stream and what it looks like. So I would definitely choose custom if you have OBS, which is a free piece of software. So I'm not sure why you wouldn't, but I would definitely select custom as opposed to quick uh, because you can have control over more of the live stream. Uh, obviously, you're going to be able to choose between public, unlisted, and private. Works the same way as it does with videos. If it's public, anybody can view the live stream. If it's unlisted or private, a lot of times you have to send the links out for people to be able to go and you you can even make it password protected. Under advanced settings, you're going to see a bunch of different things. Uh, underneath chat, you can enable live chat or you can automatically block spam messages. Uh, I leave both of those checked because I like those. Uh, license and rights ownership, obviously, depending on what you're streaming, you may have to change that, but you need to talk to the company or whoever you're streaming to figure that out. Uh, syndication uh, everywhere, so that's going to be automatically uh, selected. Under distribution options, keep those checked, uh, allow embedding, uh, as well as allow content reuse. You definitely want those. Uh, and then obviously under promotions, you want to promote on your channel page when the event is live, uh, one hour before the scheduled start time. So this is important. So as far as like when you want this to go out to your subscribers, you click this down arrow here and select the time at which you want this to be provided to your subscribers. So it's going to look like a normal video, uh, except that it's going to show up as a live event coming up at a specific time. So it's going to notify them that in one hour, one day, you know, two days, one week, however long you want to enable it to go from, it'll enable your subscribers to know when you're going live. Uh, age restrictions, obviously, if you've got some profanity, if you've got some things that you need to restrict the age, you can do that there. Uh, under category, you know, sim similar to video, choose the category that you want the live stream to be on. And then underneath, you know, this below here, you can go and look at all of these things here. A lot of this is, is you know, a lot of strange stuff like 360 video, enable DVR, uh, so viewers will be able to go back and, and 
and view the, the video from the beginning, recording date, uh, you know, allow it to show the recording date. So you can go through here, select some different options that you want to choose for your live event. And the last thing I want to go over is monetization. So obviously, just like a video, you can monetize your live event with advertisements provided by Google. Uh, so if you click the check mark here and then go to create event, it's going to create an event that actually is going to be monetized with ads. So while your viewers are watching that specific live event that you're streaming, it's basically a live stream that you're just planning ahead, right? So when they're viewing the live stream, you're going to be able to run ads on that specific stream and that's about it. So if we go back to the event manager page over here and we go back to the basic info, we're going to be able to see the main page again. And then once you're ready to send your event out and make it live, go ahead and click the create event blue button there on the right hand side. And if you've done everything right, it will notify your subscribers at the appropriate time that you will be going live. So guys, I hope this helped you out. Now, if you have any questions on live streaming on YouTube or anything like that, I'll have some videos that I've done in the past in the description, as well as linked on top of this video. Uh, any questions about this, put those in the comments section. I will get to those as soon as possible. If you're looking for more YouTube content to help you grow your channel, go on over and listen to our podcast. It's called YouTube Creators Hub Podcast. It's actually ranked in the top 100 business podcasts on iTunes. So I really think we're doing some good stuff there. And guys, until next time, we'll see you later.